Well, 22 to 1 to win the Munster Championship. I actually looked in the paper during the week to make sure we were still in the Championship. I wasn't sure had we been knocked out and honest to me, but nobody's given us a chance. But we're happy enough. You know, we had a couple of great performances in the league. We disappointed with our last, with the first half against Galway because we had a chance to get to the semi final. But overall, against Tipperary, against Cork, and against Slayer, and even against Kenny for long periods, we played very well. And it was important for us to do well in the league because we had introduced a lot of new players. And I mean, talk about blooding players. That's the place to blow them at, at the very top level and that, that's what happened. So based on that, you know, we've worked hard in training. We've played three or four challenges recently. So we, we feel we're in a good place. But the thing about the first round of the Championship, you never know exactly where you stand until the ball is thrown in to us. Munster, Munster Hurling is, is just so competitive. Like, you know, anybody in, in the competition could actually win it. Like, you know, so if you go through the last few years, there's only been a pocket of ball in it, regardless of who's playing who. So um, it, literally, it could be a point either way, or it could be a draw. Even like you know, so it's so difficult to to kind of put a, to put even a score or or to give a difference in, in in points or goals or so on. The aspirations are to go out and win it. You know, to 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 win every game. You know, we believe we we, we were competitive in the league. We uh, won some matches, we lost some matches, but we were competitive in every game. And uh, you know, we wouldn't be here to say that. You know, our aspect our our, our um, Goal is to win a game or two in the Monster Championship. We want to we want to go out and try and win the Monster Championship and then build them um, for the All Ireland series. Clare have got a very good panel of players. They won an unders when they won All Ireland three years ago, and they and they won a second unders when they won All Ireland. Which means basically they have two separate panels of players who have been successful to to, to to you know to pick from, and they also have a nice core of older players. I think Clare are in a very very good place. And, you know, if, if, if they were to get ahead, they'd be very, very difficult to ping back. So they're going to take a lot of beating. But we'll take a fair bit of beating too. I suppose everyone talks about, like you said already, the Davy factor. But to be perfectly honest, I don't think that's going to have a, a major bearing on the game. People will say that he knows us and we know him. But look, every year is different. And every occasion, every time you go into the field is, is a different opportunity and a different scenario. I don't think that you can say this fella's going to do this and this fella's going to do that. That just doesn't work in, in hurling. You know, you can say it in other sports maybe, but it's just not the case here. But... To look, to, to when you walk over the, the the white lines on Sunday, like that's when it starts. Like you know, there's nothing that can ten one person can can really change too much. There's a lot more youth after coming in, and you know, there's young guys coming in who have won things underage, and there's a, you know, there's a they bring a good confidence and um, a lot of positivity to the to the setup. And um, one thing, another thing that we've tried to work on is um, you know our tackling in the forwards, and I think the lads were. You know, testament to that during the whole league. You know, I think we did work hard as a forward line, which probably in the past, you know, we we um, you know, we didn't, and it cost us for games. So uh, that's one thing that I think we have improved on. I think deep down, people are quietly, you know, they think this team has got a very good chance. I mean, there's no there's no big hype. Ideally, in the papers, there's not a word about us. There's nobody talking about Waterford. And over the years, Waterford's best performances have been have been produced when we were written off as underdogs. And we're in that we're in that situation on Sunday. I believe there's there's a bit of extra demand from tickets compared to last year. So hopefully, we'll bring a good crowd. Mm-hmm.